Hello, this is Sadhbir. The topic of our discussion in this video tutorial is infinite series. Let me first give you what is the definition of infinite series. Suppose we have a sequence a n. So a n is a sequence, a given sequence. Then we can construct a series and we can construct the infinite series by adding the term of the sequence. If we add all the term of the sequence varying from on the very first term to the very last term, the infinite term, and uh, or in other words, if you add a1, the first term, a2, uh, a3, and so on. And then uh, this sum will called infinite series in finite series. So this sum is the infinite sum. So we will call this is a infinite series. So our next definition is what is a partial sum. So partial sum is usually denoted by SM and it is the sum of the first M term of the series. Or in other words, a1 plus a2 plus a3 and so on up to a n. If you add the first m term of the uh, series, this sum is called the partial sum. Uh, let's, for example, if I have a series 1 over n, where n is very from 1 to infinity, this is a very famous harmonic series. Then the s1, the sum of the first term is just 1. Then what is a s2? the sum of the first two term, one and one half. And then what is the S3? S3 is the sum of the first uh, three term. And uh, in general, what is SM? SM is one plus one half and so on up to one over M. The sum of the first M term. Our next definition, which is a very important definition, the convergence of a series. So we say a series is convergence. Let's suppose we have a series and vary from one to infinity a n. We say this series is convergent. So this is the mathematical symbols. When we say a series is convergent, we write the series, the sum of the series less than infinity. So we say this series is convergent if and only if, this is a symbol of if and only if, the, the sequence, sequence of the partial sum is convergent is convergent. So therefore, this partial sum is a very important uh, for us. It's a very important sequence. Uh, if we have to show that a series is convergent, all we have to do that, we need to show that this sequence uh, is convergent. Now let me give you some examples and prove that whether the series is convergent and series is divergent. So our first example is uh, we have given the series and uh, vary from one to infinity, uh, the uh, sum of one over n square. So I will begin by calculating the partial sum of the series first. So SM will be uh, the summation n start from one to m of one over n square. Now this implies the, the SM is a sequence. So is a, so SM is a sequence. If we want to show that the series is convergent, then all we need to show, we want to show if the series is convergent, we need to show SM is convergent. This is a convergent sequence. Uh, in this example, we will use the monotonic convergence theorem to prove that the sequence is convergent. Uh, so by the monotonic convergence theorem, uh, what we need to show is SM is bounded and it is a monotone. So we will show that the sequence, which is a SM sequence, sequence of the partial sum of the series, is it is a bounded and it is also a monotone. So let's show that the first the sequence is bounded. So SM is bounded. So SM is nothing but is equal to n vary from one to m, one over n square. 
I can write this uh, partial sum as one. I'm gonna spit out the first term and then I'm gonna start the summation from n is equal to two to m. And I will tell you that in a few minutes why I did that. Now we will observe that n is always greater than, uh, strictly greater than is equal to n minus one if n is a um, natural number. So this implies one over n is strictly less than one over n minus one, if n is a natural number. So what we're gonna do is we are going to basically write this as a product and very from starting from two to m and I'm gonna write one over n and one over n. And I'm going to replace one, one of these one over n by one over n minus one. So therefore, this is equal to one plus summation. Now it's starting from n is equal to two to m. So as you see that, because I was going to replace by n minus one, so this is why I, I cannot use n is equal to one in my denominator. So I got one over n and then I have one over n minus one. So I have one over n vary from two to m, one over n, then n minus one. So my next step will be to make the partial fraction of this term, which is inside of the summation symbol. So if I do so, I will get one plus summation uh, n vary from two to m, and I will get here one over uh, n minus one um, minus one over n. So I will get uh, basically summation n vary from two to m, one over n minus one minus one over n after making the partial fraction. Now I will expand uh, this sum. So I will write down this each term of this sum. So if I take n is equal to two, I will get one and then I will get one half here. And if I take n is equal to three, I will get one half here and I will get one third here and so on. I will get here one, one third minus one fourth and so on. This will be a m minus one minus one over m. So as you can see now, this is a telescoping series. This term will cancel with this, this term will cancel with this, this term will cancel with this and so on. This term will cancel with the previous uh, to this term. So all we will left with is now uh, will be a two minus one over M less than two because one over M is a positive quantity. If I basically remove that one, so it will be always less than is equal to two. So this shows, so this shows that our partial sum, so this shows that SM, which is the sequence of the partial sum is always less than is equal to two for every values of M. Therefore, this sequence is bounded. So SM is, is bounded sequence. Next thing we need to show that this sequence is also um, an increasing sequence because this is a bounded above sequence. So we will show this is monotone or in other words, this is monotone increasing sequence. Uh, in order to do that, I will calculate SM plus one minus SM. And if I simply write down these term, the summation N vary from one to M plus one, first M plus one term of the series N square. And then I'm gonna subtract the first M term of the series one over m square. And as you can see that the first m term will cancel out because there is a negative sign in between. If you expand these sums and the first m term are going to cancel out, all we're gonna left with is, all we are going to left with is one over m plus one, the square of that, which is uh, strictly greater than zero or greater than or equal to zero. So this shows that, uh, SM, so this shows that SM plus one is always bigger than is equal to SM or in other words, SM 
is increasing sequence. This is an increasing sequence. This is also a bounded above sequence. So therefore, this sequence SM is convergent. And by the definition of the convergence of series, this implies this series is convergent. So this was our, this complete the first example that the series one over n square is a convergent series. Next, we will consider this very important example of harmonic series. Uh, in this example, we will prove that this harmonic series is a divergent series, or in other word, it is some basically is not a finite number. And we will show uh, this by calculating the partial sum and prove that the partial sum of the series is a, a divergent sequence. Let me first write down what is the partial sum. So the partial sum SM of this series is summation uh, N vary from one to M, one over N. So next I will calculate this partial sum SM. So instead of calculating the SM, I'm gonna calculate the partial sum, which is uh, the multiple of two, or which can be written into to some power. So you can, because two to the power M is an integer. So this is also a partial sum. So I will compute uh, uh, this partial sum, because if this partial sum is uh, a divergent sequence, then the SM will also be a divergent sequence because SM and S to the power 2K, they are just basically adding the term of the, uh, the series. Some uh, takes basically the uh, less term than the something the more term. But when we say the sequence is convergent, so we take the M to infinity. So it is a sufficient to compute S to the power 2K partial sum. Uh, instead SM. So let's first calculate what is uh, S uh, the power 2K sum. So it is basically we add the first uh, uh, two to the power K term. So it's gonna be one half, one, one half, one third, one fourth, one fifth, so on up to maybe somewhere one eight and so on up to two to the power k minus one plus one and so on one to two to the power k that will be the last term of the partial sum so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to first uh, pair the terms that will pair this term then i will pair the this next four term and then i will pair the last uh, two to the power k term so one um, and quality I'm going to use because one third is uh, greater than one four. So I can write this is strictly greater than this is a one, this is a one half, and I can write this is a one four plus one four. And similarly, one fifth, one six, one uh, seven, they are all greater than one eight. So I can write here one eight plus one eight plus one eight plus one eight that will be a four time and so on i can also write uh, one to the power two k minus one plus one they are all greater than uh, two to the power k one over two to the power k and so on one over two to the power k now if you rewrite this again this is going to be a one this is a one half this term is also going to be one half and this term is also be one half and so on. Even this term is just one half. So this is a total K time one half. Therefore, this is a K divided by two. So what we show that the partial sum, so therefore this partial sum as to the power K, uh, this is a strictly greater than one plus K divided by two. No. So in other words, no matter what k you use, you can always find a number. This partial sum is greater than uh, that uh, number, 1 plus k divided by 2. Or in other words, this partial sum is unbounded. So therefore, s2 to the power k is unbounded. Unbounded sequence. If this is unbounded sequence, therefore, sm is unbounded.
if Sn is unbounded, therefore this series is not a convergent series or another word, uh, this series is a diverge. This series diverges or this is a divergent series. Sometimes we write also the series, the sum of the series is equal to infinity. Here I have one quiz problem for you to practice. Please pause the video for one and two minutes and work on this problem. This is also the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next video.